<laughs> Who knows what evil lurks in the heart of game? <laughs> the Shadow Snows. Hi, I'm the Shadow Snows, and I'm back with another MSX video. Tonight I'm going to play something essentially Japanese computer pachinko. Yeah, it's something sort of similar to our slot machine. So you shoot balls and have to fit them into certain targets. Yeah, it's like a combination of a pinball because it has pins and balls. Okay, I think that's the correct power adjustment. Yeah, and it's second button doesn't do anything. Yeah. Probably, can I keep the button pressed? No, I can't. Probably even more boring than a slot machine simulator. Oh, I want something. Yeah, and I think uh, the reason for those sort of machines in Japan is. Uh, I think the story is uh, gambling in Japan in Japan is generally uh, prohibited. So uh, there are those holy shit. That's some serious slowdown. There are those uh, pachinko parlors where you do this and uh, yeah, you get you win only balls, steel balls, like uh, from a ball bearing. Holy shit, this is slow. Yeah, and you don't do much more than pushing the button and sometimes adjusting the power. But this value seems to work quite well. Since I won more balls than I lose so far. Yeah. I think this is uh, the most boring kind of game that you can produce. I, I can imagine that pachinko machines are some sort of uh, interesting just like uh, slot machines because you basically play for money. Yeah, you technically you don't play for money on, uh, on a pachinko machine. You... Uh, great ball physics. You uh, can exchange the balls uh, to presents, crappy presents, because uh, that's the only reward uh, allowed for some sort of gambling machines in Japan. So you uh, get your crappy presents and just besides the pachinko parlor are uh, some uh, sort of shops, uh, probably owned by the same guy or company that owns the pachinko parlor. And there you can ex sell those uh, crappy presents that you uh, obtain from the pachinko parlor and make money out of it. Yeah. I'm not sure if they have fixed prices so that if you get uh, a green teddy bear with uh, purple tentacles that's worth uh, half a million yen. Yeah, but probably, as with all gambling machines, in the end, you always lose. Oh, I think I have to hit this thing on the right. Yeah, there are certain targets that you are supposed to hit.
Yeah, and I can imagine that this is much more interesting with real steel balls. And I'm on a winning streak. Yeah! Holy shit, this video is already five minutes long and... Uh, who's up for a high score challenge on this game? Oh my god! If I could at least keep the button pressed. Yeah, already have 240 points. And I'm getting more and more balls. Yeah, I could even imagine that uh, such a machine would have had some success on a local carnival in uh, in the 80s. Similar to those coin slider machines. And I think I haven't been to a carnival for, for 30 years, so I don't know if those are actually still around. Yeah, but I think I've showed you all of this game. Don't think there's yeah, there's probably much uh, something more if I uh, actually match those uh, three numbers in the slot machine in the middle. But I don't think I want to play. Oh, I almost lost my all my balls. Why is that? It doesn't really matter. That was. Uh, Computer Pachinko on the MSX machine. I think it's one of the most boring games ever produced. Don't think it's technically bad, uh, technically horrible, but uh, yeah, Pachinko, it's boring. Hope you enjoyed this video anyways and thanks for watching.